All right, here is another one that I've had for a while. This one I got at Book Off, and it's the Ugnaughts. And what's really cool is that now they put these smaller figures in basically two packs. Like the Jawas, they put two Jawas in a pack. I think it's really cool. I wish they had, Kenner had done that with the original Jawa and Ugnaughts. Um, but it says Ugnaughts with Toolkit. So it's one toolkit. So they have to share. And this is the Collection 2 set. And apparently this was originally from KB. And it's the freeze frame slides. And on the back, again, it has the order form for the, the booklet to, to store your freeze frames. And it shows some of the figures that were available at this time. The Snow Trooper, the Luke Skywalker, Ceremonial Outfit, the Grand Moff Tarkin, Princess Leia in Ewoks Celebration Outfit, and the Gamorrean Guard with those huge legs. And you can also get the Jabba the Hutt, and Solo, and the Dupac, and Sand Trooper. Then if here you get the Ugnaught card, and it says Ugnaughts, the humanoid species found on Bespin's Cloud City, man the controls of the freezing chambers where Han Solo was encased in carbonite. All right, let's get these out. This is how it was when I got it. So it was all crunched up here. So it was quite a mess. Okay, let's open these up. And, uh, and, and this was collection two when Hasbro learned their lesson and stopped making these figures so He-Man-esque. All right, keep the card. Here is the, the slide, which says, laboring in the bowels of Cloud City. And here is the tool kit. I can't see that because it's so bright. But it's a little bit thicker than the original. And okay, so it's basically this one's basically one piece. Yep, there's one piece. Arm moves. And oh, and the head moves. And the apron is an apron is a separate piece. Interesting. But yeah, what do you call these? This is 1998, so this came out in 1998. So what do you call these type of figures that are just one solid piece at the base? And I like the detail on the gloves. The 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 dirtying of the gloves. That's pretty cool looking. A lot more detail on this Ugnaught than the original. Of course it stands well. And here's the other one. A different looking Ugnaught. Um, this one also, the legs don't move. We have one, two, three, four, four modes of articulation. The arms. All right. So which one holds the toolkit? Can hold it. Looks good. So here's the original Ugnaught with its long hair. And see, it also has a toolkit, but let's compare the toolkits. Whereas this this is the new toolkit. This is the original it's thinner. With a little bit more design on it. On this one than this one. Hmm. Kind of went chintzy on the toolkit. What's up with that? But yeah. So now you got three different Ugnaught designs. Did they make any more Ugnaughts? I don't remember. But unfortunately, my vintage one, the apron is fading. Boo! But I like that they look 
They have completely different designs, facial designs. That's cool. And even different clothing. Different color. Got kind of the same color, black and gray. So those are the Ugnaughts from this from series two, Star Wars: The Power of the Force Collection. Thanks for watching Star Wars Obsessed. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. Also, click on that bell icon to be alerted to new videos. You can also check out more of my collection at the Star Wars Obsessed blog.